Hey y'all, let's work on these three projects. We're going to start with the cutting board and I'm actually going to paint all the items white and then I'm going to go back over them with the colors that I want um, my color scheme to be. The first one is sage blossom green, then maize is the yellow, and um, then for the cutting board I actually painted it Vic vintage Victoria which is this really pretty pink sanded the edges and now i'm going to grab my posca pen and i'm going to put some polka dots all over this cutting board now this is totally optional it's stinking cute and then i use it to make some lines and details on the lemon and the leaf y'all this is super easy and it's an optional thing if you want to put some details just grab a paint pen now let's glue it all together i'm going to start by building the lemon put the leaf on first and then the daisy. Now we're going to glue everything to the board. And um, I like the super glue. It's got this, you know, smaller tip so you can get a little bit of glue on all the letters. Now for the lemon. And y'all, I didn't paint the back of anything except the cutting board. I did cut the uh, paint the back of it because you're going to be able to see it. Each one of these comes with a stand. So now let's do the lemonade stand. I kind of placed everything on top of where it should be and um, let's get started painting once again i'm using uh, white and Rondack chalk paint and i'm going to paint all the items that i decided to paint white first and then we're going to go to the vintage victorian that's this light pink it's so pretty and all these soft colors really 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 make me ready for spring so now we're into the sage blossom which is this pretty green and y'all, for all of these projects, I did use two coats and then in some cases, three coats. So now let's paint the lemon. And um, we got the little small lemons that go on the banner. But look, it goes really quick if you paint all everything that you want to paint. White, white, yellow, yellow. You know what I'm saying. That way you're not going back and forth into the paint. Now, after the white dried, I added some sage blossom stripes these stripes you could do any color they'd be stinking cute with red and white then i take my sander and i'm sanding the edges a little bit just to give it a little detail now when you put this front piece on make sure that it's all the way at the top it meets the the piece at the back because the bottom does not line up it's not supposed to because this fits in to a stand and you want to make sure that it's even at the top so let's add these, uh, the pennant. Y'all, aren't these colors awesome? Now make sure your holes line up and do that before your glue sets up because you know that super glue sets up fast. Now let's add the lemons. Y'all, this is so cute. Now put the lemons going in any direction you like, all the same direction, or I kind of had mine going in two different directions. Now for the price tag. These uh, are 25 cents. So I'm going to use my Posca fine point pen or paint pen and write that in now we're just gluing everything to the front and you can put you know the lemon anywhere you want to be sure to add the leaf and the little daisy and um, for the last part we're going to add the price tag y'all it turned out cute now on to the little lemonade gnome and like I did before, everything that I painted white, I painted it all, then so forth and so on. And look, you can make the stripes any color you want them. I decided to go with white, green, and yellow. And um, that's the rim of his hat. And I'm going to also put some dots on the rim of his hat. Now, like I said, I put a couple coats on everything and let it all dry. Now, for his nose, I did a coat of pink then a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white just to kind of give it like a skin tone i painted the back just like i did on all of the rest and then here i am adding some white stripes up here um but i mean you could do opposite colors of what i'm using or use whatever colors you have now let's glue everything down the top of his hat his mustache his nose and then we're going to add some little details with the lemon and with the um, daisies and you can put them anywhere you want there i am adding the white polka dots y'all it's so cute there you go now let's make the bases the bases two are the same size and one is smaller 
And you can like hold them in your hand and line them up. Just put the smaller uh, part that has the cut with the smaller piece of wood. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying. And then just glue it on just like that. And now let these dry with the recommended time or whatever kind of glue you're using. And um, then you can sit each one of your finished pieces down in that slit and they stand up so pretty. And here they are on the tiered tray. Thanks for watching.